Hey guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and pop the uh, transformers out. There was some recommendations just to sleeve these with some heat shrink. I've done that in the past as well, and that's viable and uh, easily done as well. Um, I've got my connection points identified back to the schematic just to make sure that everything's uh, correct. And just for reference, around 11 ohms on the uh, primary side and the secondary the same. Make sure I've got a good connection here. Right at 11 ohms of DC resistance as well. And just for reference, you can see the uh, part number here facing the rear. And for reference, when I pull this out, you can see the uh, B plus side coming in. This would be the old red lead. Reshape the can just a bit there. And there we have it. Taking this thing out will give me the opportunity as well to uh, clean up on the trimmers. And you can see the old lead wire. You go ahead and dress this thing up and I'll bring you guys back. I'll go ahead and take time just to uh, denote the uh, primary and secondary. Put me a little dot here on the inside. Again, our B plus N. This lead going back to the uh, plate representing the uh, primary. And I'll do the uh, secondary as well. And I'll confirm the uh, phase was correct. This looks like our uh, green going back over to the uh, diode itself and this would be the return in black so green and black rewired with the correct color codes or what was more common again with the red being your b plus n the blue going back over to the plate of the tube receiving the signal the uh, ground return and going back over to the uh, diode or second detector, AVC, the uh, green lead. Let's look at the phase of the transformer. Again, the frequency itself is shifted due to the capacitance of the probes. So we can ignore that. Let me clean up the capacitors, the trimmers themselves, and the can. If it's back in the receiver, we'll move over to the first IF and I'll repeat the process. And you can see the measured inductance in the can, which will always shift some. So we're about 1 millihenry and 10.2 ohms with the new lead dress there on the primary. Let's look at the secondary. And you see a good match there. 10 ohms and right at 1 millihenry as well. This chassis is in really good shape, so I'm not going to really do any de rusting on it. Just give it a nice uh, clean with some disinfectant wipes. And I got the area cleaned up here where the IF transformer, the second IF transformer, is. And again, we'll move over here to the uh, first IF. I won't show that because I'm going to repeat the uh, process that I just shared. Let me get the uh, transformer remounted, then I'll move over to the uh, first IF transformer. Identifying the outside foil on the capacitors on round two of some of the replacements. Outside foil is where the LED is lit. The second IF transformer tied back into the circuit in addition, two resistors and a couple capacitors as well that made sense to go ahead and replace when I was in that area. The resistors were way out of tolerance so far with the exception of the one resistor here. It's been out of tolerance 
greater than 20%. Let me get the first IF transformer out. You can see one of the tie-in points here to where I replaced one of the capacitors and resistors. That's what came out of the IF transformers. And again, this was on the blue lead and would have had B plus voltage on it. So definitely a uh, safety issue, fire issue, all the above. You can see everything wired in now on the second IF and the first IF down here. So that part's behind me and a few more capacitors replaced, as I mentioned earlier, and uh, couple resistors. That's where I'm going to leave off for today. Thanks for watching, folks.